you off to out there, Lex? Man, I'm just watching you catch fish, dude. Every cast, man. I'm out here, guys, with the Yankee goat. The greatest of all time, Yankee. Elias B from Elias B Fishing. Y'all check his YouTube channel out if you hadn't already. He's out here playing fish. He's catching them on his own shad that he created. And that's awesome. That That's really what I want to do a podcast with you about. I think that's great. You created a bait and you catch the fish on it. Yeah, we're out here about 10 miles. No, we're about seven, seven right miles. now. We're about seven miles out. We started at seven miles. I mean, this dude's feeling the cooler up. I mean, what do you expect, guys? Come on, what do you expect? Three sea bass and a grunt. On first hole. Woo! Yeah, we're dropping. Uh, he's actually throwing in a live shad, this thing right here. And he's caught almost every one of those fish on that ounce and a half. And a red snapper. And a red snapper. It's that you said an ounce and a half? Yeah, 1.3. 1.3. Where can they get these things? Eliasbeefishing.com? The website, uh, Intracoastal Angler. Carolina Taco Rooms and other North Carolina dealers. So. Nice. Thanks for the commercial. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you know we plugging in whenever we can, guys. I've been filming, filming stuff for damn. I'm not the best salesman. I'll sell. I'm, I'm his salesman, guys. I'm his salesman today. He's the CEO and, and owner and boss, and I'm the salesperson. But I mean, he's killing it with that thing, man. But we're starting at seven miles. We're gonna throw some metal jigs. We're gonna drop down some cigar minnows and we're gonna work our way out to about 10 miles a day. It's pretty windy out here. I mean, wind's a little more windy than we thought. Stay tuned, amigos. I made sushi out of them, I think. Mm-hmm. Toad. <laughs> yeah. On the Roscoe. First time dropping the old Roscoe. Yeah, barely hooked. Got a good one. Yeah, that's old hoss right there. Got a pretty big sea bass here, guys. Is it? Wow, that's a mat, dude. That's a mat. That's old slab of meat. Pretty big sea bass here. Pete straightened himself out for you. Got him on the Roscoe. Roscoe jig. That's a nice flounder, dude. That's what I've been looking for this whole time. What the f <laughs> Thing's having a seizure. Metal J. Metal J. Oh. Broken. Broken right there. I blowed his damn air pocket out. He grunting. White grunt, right? Yeah, it was a white grunt. White grunt, guys. Real good to eat. Got him on the beach bomb jig. Ounce and a quarter, I believe. Just bopping it off the bottom. Good one. That thing's head's huge. Probably the biggest one I've caught near the beach here. That's a good one. Oh, he's a fat boy, son. It did, it just smoked it, dude. <laughs> Thought I had my drag tight. Oh no, I can't see. Oh my god, no wonder it thumped it. Look at that thing. Barracuda, dude, if they saw that right there. 
the rat. That's a big lizard fish. Trash fish king, baby. Yeah, that thing smoked it, son. I should have known when he came back for seconds what he was. Like that video of the guy cooking the lizard fish? Oh, that was wild, man. It looked really good. Look at this lizard fish, guys. He smoked the damn Mackinac shaft. The south was beaten by the north once again today, guys. That's right, fellas. Elias caught way more fish than me today. Caught some sea bass. We caught some... Oh, he's hooked up again. Lost... Lizard, lizard fish. Lizard fish slayer. Grunts. We caught some grunts. We caught... Yeah, well, oh, Elias caught like probably four flounder. A lot of flounder. Atlantic Benito. Atlantic Benito. How crazy is that? Yeah, Atlantic Benito. Oh, Red snapper. Yeah, red snapper early this morning. Yeah, we got a cooler full of fish. I mean, it's packed to the top. There's that bonito right there. That is awesome to catch that in the fall. I think that's pretty cool. We got a meat haul out here. Looking, checking the screen, looking them for structure on the bottom or any kind of life at all. Trying, trying spots out. You guys don't forget to go over to Elias' page. Check out my lizard fish. Check out his, <laughs> check out his lizard fish on the Mackinac. I think this thing I was fighting for, uh, fighting with for about 15 minutes probably. <laughs> that lizard fish led us 33 miles offshore right there, and just kept hitting me. I threw the damn harpoon at it and missed. There he is. Only fisher for these 20 years. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't forget to go over to Elias' page. Check his stuff out. Got a good box full of fish here. Got some grunts, some sea bass, tiny fillet. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen, guys. Got my old lady, the fish and meal, aka Kimberly Lawrence, aka Kimberly Hunt, in the kitchen, looking cute, cuter than ever. And she is about to prepare for us a poke bowl. Oh, that's disgusting. I don't like seafood. She's about to prepare for us a poke bowl. Okay. And what, what are we gonna have in this poke bowl? Can you uh, some it? scallions. Jalapenos, um, spicy mayo, wasabi peas, like so, and some soy sauce, and some cream cheese, and some fish. Whenever you cook. Sea bass, black and sea bass. We're gonna have on the. We're gonna have a cook. What kind of rice do you use, Uncle Ben? Basmati. This is the rice. Six or ninety seconds. We're gonna dice up these onions. Dice up these jalapenos. We're gonna cook some fish on the skillet. We're gonna make a nice bowl. Now I got the fish out. I seasoned it with a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of Traeger Black and Saskatchewan rub. Bet you can't spell that twice. Shouldn't take too long. I like to put a little maple syrup in there. Formerly known as Aunt Jemima's. Fish is done. Dumped in the bowl. She put some scallions in there. Jalapenos in my bowl. Some cream cheese. I'll probably take another little dollop of cream cheese. Sriracha mayo. I'm gonna put a little bit of yum yum sauce in there. Wasabi, Wasabi peas. Give it, give it some crunch, that's good. Give it some crunch. Done. That's it, guys. Let's see what this scoop tastes like, guys. Looks good. Mm. Coke bowl. Mm. It's good. Very good. Well, you heard it first from the mouth 
of the north. <laughs> poke bowl is good. We cook, we fully cook the sea bass for the bowl. Now you can use raw fish. I mean, I would use tuna, Atlantic bonito, something of that nature. If I'm gonna use raw fish, maybe like a red, like tuna probably is the best thing. But if you have fish and you wanna cook it, stretch it out and make a bowl out of it, you can do it with any fish. You can cook that fish up, put it right in that bowl. You guys don't forget, give me a thumbs up. Like and subscribe to the channel. Tell them what to do. Tell them don't be a dipshit. Don't be a dipshit. Like and subscribe.